Hi gamers, and welcome to checking out what games I've bought here in Tokyo. As you can see, I have a, quite a nice haul here, a bit more than the last time I visited Japan. But uh, yeah, really happy that I found, found all of these, especially, especially the Wii U games that I mentioned. But uh, first let's check out some of these other games. Got some Squaresoft games for the Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, Treasure Hunter G, Romancing Saga 2 and Bahamut Lagoon. These were like 5 to 10 euros a piece, so really in inexpensive, even though I can't read or play them. Uh, you know, they still have cool cover art, great graphics, so nice, nice collectibles, really inexpensive. As are these, I got couple of uh, PlayStation 1 games, Front Mission 2 and Omjammer Lamy for the Dreamcast El Dorado Gate 1 previously I only had number 2 and then for the Saturn Virtua Fighter Remix Sega Saturn Flash which I believe is some kind of demo disc you have games like Bomberman and Virtual On there and uh, Tokimeki Memorial Forever with you, dating simulator for the Sega Saturn. Because why not? <laughs> it had a nice cardboard cover to it. And yeah, these uh, six games are were like 50 cents to 1 euro a piece, so really nothing. Of course, there are like literally hundreds of games priced for 1 euro, so I, I I wasn't just buying any game that I could get cheap. I, I wouldn't fit all of those in my uh, in my trunk, in my suitcase. So these are select games that I got basically for free. And uh, here we have Great Madu uh, Grand Zort, which is for the Super Graphics I got the Super Graphics console the last time I was here, got a pretty good deal on it. And uh, as you might remember, there were five games uh, that uh, use, uh, that are only playable on the Super Graphics. And I got three of those five games the last time around. And here is the fourth. I did see the fifth as well, 1941 from Capcom. Uh, here as well, but it was a bit expensive. Well, it was an okay price, but I just couldn't fit it into my budget this time, so just got here Grand Zort, which is a uh, pretty decent uh, side-scrolling action game. Uh, I'll come back that uh, to that in a minute. But then we got the Wii U goodness here. Uh, there are like, what, 20, 25 games uh, released for the Wii U only in Japan so gotta get all of those exclusives as well and uh, let's just start here I got probably the biggest reason to own uh, a Japanese Wii U is uh, Taiko no Tatsu in Wii U version so a great rhythm game you got the drum here and uh, two drumsticks to go along with it. And then I found uh, the uh, Hyrule Warriors or Zelda Muso as it's called over here. This is the special box which includes an art book and the Triforce clock. Sadly I wasn't able to find the treasure box of this game which also includes the uh, scarf that we got over here in uh, Europe. But uh, those are quite rare and valuable, but maybe someday. I'm really happy that I found this. At least, this was like 70 euros, so not really cheap, but uh, really happy that I found it. And then the games, also one of the biggest uh, Japanese exclusives is of course uh, Fatal Frame 5. And uh, sadly it's full of Japanese text, but uh, you can still, uh, uh, I've played this here in my hotel room and uh, uh, you can still uh, appreciate the graphics and uh, play as far as you, <laughs> you can. Uh, it's not like you, you need the Japanese text uh, at, at all times. But uh, yeah, still hoping of course that this will be ported over to 
uh, Western markets as well. And uh, you know, now that I've bought this, I'm sure that they will announce it <laughs> pretty soon. And uh, this will not be a Japanese exclusive anymore, and then I'm stuck with this. Uh, it wasn't cheap, uh, of course, it's a pretty new game still. But uh, of, course, of course, I had to get this. Other Japanese exclusives include Puyo Puyo Tetris, a really, really nice uh, puzzle game which includes uh, Puyo Puyo and Tetris. Basically, uh, you could either play those games separately or play a, a mishmash of both of them. Uh, it's a bit hard to explain, but uh, a fun, fun puzzle game. I really like it. Then we have Yakuza 1 and 2 HD for Wii U, still sealed, as is Monster Hunter Frontier G. And then I got all of the Dragon Quest uh, 10 games, Dragon Quest X here, and uh, the expansion for Dragon Quest X, and the all-in-one package, which includes both versions of the game. These are all sealed, of course you can only play these online and uh, with Japanese people, so not really, not really that uh, uh, easy of a task to uh, do, so really happy that I got all of them sealed. And I also got here a standalone Taiko no Tatsuin uh, sealed, a Just Dance Wii U, this is a different Just Dance game that was released in the West. And uh, yeah, you guys have got some uh, Japanese stuff here like AKB48 and uh, all sorts of <laughs> quirky uh, bands and uh, songs here. You do have some Western stuff here as well. Then we've got F1 Race Stars Powered Up Edition. And uh, yeah, this was never released uh, physically in the West for the Wii U. You could, uh, you could uh, download the game, but uh, uh, the physical version is uh, exclusive to Japan. And then I got Kamen Rider Bat Ride War 2. This is the regular version. And uh, here is also a special TV and movie sound edition. And here we have Romance of the Three Kingdoms 12. And uh, here is the same game with Power Up Kit. These uh, Kamen Rider games, they came out on the same day and uh, are just basically a regular and special edition of the game. But uh, these uh, came out like a year apart from each other. So basically two different games here. And uh, then I I was thinking about whether or not I should get the console as well. And uh, yeah, like you just saw, there aren't that many games that you absolutely have to play in Japanese. And uh, many of the games I have here are sealed and uh, gonna stay sealed. But um, I figured I'm gonna get this uh, because I, I don't have a white Wii U yet. So I have to get it for that collecting purpose as well. So why not get a Japanese? console and also because uh, this also doubles up as a Japanese Wii and uh, that's why I got here uh, milestone shooting collection just eight euros so gotta get it even though I do have all the games included here for the Dreamcast already but a nice collection uh, still sadly I couldn't found uh, couldn't find uh, Captain Rainbow which is pretty much the quintessential Japanese Wii game, so I'm gonna get that later. And those run on this Japanese Wii U as well, so it's a pretty good deal. I got it for like 150 euros used, and uh, yeah, the Japanese really take good care of their uh, games and consoles. So this, uh, even though this was used, it still had all the baggies and twist ties included here. Of course, I, I <laughs> uh, maintain all my consoles like that. All the baggies and twist ties are present in my consoles as well, but uh, it's always nice to see that the Japanese are as di diligent as I am. And uh, yeah, the game store trader had 
uh, wiped the gamepad uh, screen uh, clean of fingerprints and the gamepad battery was charged and everything everything was top-notch so uh, It was it was all good also got some uh, Hardware items peripherals that were not released uh, in the West we got the steering wheel and uh, Yeah, this is uh, uh, Hasn't been released with the Wii U uh, Branding anywhere else except Japan and uh, we also got I also got the red nunchuck couldn't find the red remote both of which are exclusive colors to Japan and uh, also got this uh, screen cover for the Wii U uh, the West did have the package with uh, the screen cover and the cloth and the bigger stylus but uh, this uh, this one with just the screen cover is exclusive to Japan so bought that as well and also one more game which I didn't know uh, before I uh, saw this in stores it even existed this is the Wii Karao Karaoke U and uh, it's a physical disc inside there so I was really happy to find out about uh, a new new game for the Wii U so this includes the microphone and uh, really happy to add that to my collection as well and uh, then I also got uh, 1200 uh, again download card just so that I could could use the use the uh, eShop without inputting my credit card there so I've been having some uh, nice time gaming in my hotel room at night with my <laughs> new console and uh, uh, been really happy with the stuff that I found here whoa stop the press I was doing my last walk in Akihabara just visiting my uh, usual game stores there and I couldn't find anything and I was I'm not even kidding you I was walking away thinking that this was it when I saw a new store that I hadn't visited before and uh, I just saw well wait there's games on the fifth floor it seems I went there and I found four more games uh, like the Captain Rainbow I was just talking about and uh, three other Wii U games that I had seen uh, in other stores but they were really expensive but not in this store they were uh, just the right price so I got the Captain Rainbow and uh, uh, Fist of the North Star against Rage 2 which is available uh, in Europe and uh, the US but only as download so this is the uh, the physical version is exclusive to Japan and I also got two other Monster Hunter Frontier games uh, GG and G5 and uh, after this I'm basically missing uh, in addition to a few uh, iterative editions uh, just one unique Wii U game that is exclusive to Japan and that is um, Skylanders Spyro's Adventure the first game in the series uh, and uh, that is the only Skylanders that has been released in Japan but that hasn't been released in in other regions we just had everything onwards from Skylanders Giants but that is one Wii U game that I'm still missing not that it matters uh, all that much because uh, there are like three new Wii U games exclusive Wii U games coming out in Japan next week so I'm getting uh, getting behind on my Japanese Wii U collecting uh, just starting next week already but hey that's the nature of the game and here is one final look at my hotel room window down to Akihabara it's been a good trip found lots of games but uh, it's good to go back home as well thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye